Day Guam, Guahusi Kaleen St. Nicholas Perez of Joint Region Marianas Public Affairs. I am really excited today. We're here in the village of Jigo at the home of Mr. Robert Titano, who you may know is Guam's master ethid wood carver. He's going to talk to us a little bit about his art, how he got started, and hopefully, cross your fingers, he shows me a few carving techniques. So don't change that channel, please. Come on, let's go. Wow, these are such great items you have here. Can you tell us a little bit about what you have? Mm -hmm. Over here, we got our coconut grater. Here's one that's solid. Everybody likes that. The military likes that gun rack. Here we got the coconut crab. Navy order. We got a gum shield over here. How long does it take to, to, to like do carve one? just this one? This one, half an hour I carve this. Just half an hour? That. I carve this. To make it, I can make five, ten a day. Really? Yeah, we got all the right tools. I can make ten of this a day. Yes, they like this the most because it's one piece. One piece of uh, coconut grater. And this is actually what I mean, you can actually use it. You should use it, yeah, you can use it. This is for the coconut though, right? Coconut grater, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, over here, we got. They, even people, they order a box to put their, their wedding gift inside. We got our wood roses, lady stone. Here we got paper towel holder. Oh, that is so neat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We got the lomuk. Here we got guam, map of guam. I'm sorry, yeah. what is this one again? That's a lomuk. That's a lomuk. What was that used for? Medicine. Uh, we, we used to have it in granite uh, here in Guam before, but now this is if it. You can smash uh, your peanuts, garlic. Yep, this one. Here we go, here we got name plates. Oh, that's the best chow in Guam. How did you get started and when did you get started? I, I got started when uh, you know I was doing a, a lot of construction here in Guam. But I got tired of that work. So I started making for my house. Then everybody likes what I got in my house. So <laughs> that started the business, yeah. And then how long has it been? Oh, about 40, 35 years already I've been doing this. And I'm happy every day. If it wood is very heavy, but it's forever. The wood is forever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> A little bit about um, your connection with uh, your, your art, carving these items, and with our culture. Uh, how does that relate to one another? It, really, it relates because you know we use our own material. We go in the boonies, we get the wood. Here we are making the shield of Guam. Yeah. We make the ladi. The ladi is what we use a long time uh, before uh, the war. That's our house. We use it for the post of our house. If it's kind of hard to, to Very find. Very hard to find. you got to go deep in the bullies to get it. But, uh, you know, sometimes I trade. Well, I buy the tree from the... Why, why if it though? Why, why do you... If it is the best wood in the world. Really? Really, really. really. Why is that? Thermite's got to touch it. <laughs> can, you, can you tell, show us a little bit about, you know, how to make new pieces and can you, yeah, yeah, can yeah. you teach me some? Yeah, come, come, <laughs> come, come over here. Just follow the lines. She's, she's higher. <laughs> it's all on the movement up and down. <laughs> this is a lot harder though than what it seems. Yeah. 
<laughs> if you're gonna cut this, all you have to do is get Elmo's glue, glue the wood, put it down like that, then you follow all the lines. One hour job. But for me, a part takes me a day. <laughs> One hour. <laughs> Let's Why do you share your skills with other apprentices or other people? You talked about even talking, you know, anybody, students, right? yeah, anybody that wants to come here, free, I'll teach them. I'm not scared about competition, yeah. So if you want to make coconut grater, I'll teach you how to make one table, I'll teach you how to make table, yeah. Not many people are like that. No, no. <laughs> but what, what, what do you get out of it though? Like, why, why teach other people your trade? Yeah, they'll be happy. Once they learn uh, uh, what I learned, they're very happy. They can survive, yeah, by making things like uh, what I know. If I can't work, I can do hundred of these a day. Hundred of these a day. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more island images. Um, thank you for coming. We appreciate your coming here. Adios, Scott. Adios.